December 16th, 2023. It's like 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Run some errands, so I'm gonna make a video with the noise in the background. But we got a 14, 15 day countdown because I'm gonna start releasing stuff come January 1st. So I've been cleaning up my office so that I can turn it into an office slash podcast and get some clear audio for you guys because I'm sure by this time uh, I don't even know if uh, maybe is this it's not really conceded it's more just confidence by now people are probably like okay the sound sucks but I like the idea please make more and so I'm making more and the sound's getting better. Just bear with me here. It's about the ideas, not the, not the quality, not the audio quality. Maybe someday I'll be rich and famous and then we can have a waste some money on some studio and some audio sound. But I was just thinking, I don't, I, so I, I'm not very, I don't get triggered. Tr 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 triggered. I don't get triggered very much. I don't really get offended. I don't understand. I mean, I don't. I, I was raised Greek Orthodox, and so I know a lot of the traditions. But I haven't been able to get through the Bible. I tried to listen to it a couple times on audio. I, I really don't understand the Chris, the Christian savior complex that's going on with people. And what do I mean by that? So I, I get that if you see an injustice. So I understand if you believe that that um, like people are murdering babies. That you want to stop them from murdering babies. Okay? So if you, you see a crime, you want to intervene and stop that crime. But, like, I don't want to sound too extremist, but, like, if I was out in New Hampshire, had a firearm, and I saw somebody with a firearm about to shoot a baby in a carriage, I would defend that baby and that's not what's going on people are protesting so they're peaceful protesting this stuff because you know different governments and different systems have say so you just can't go in they consider it uh, murder for you to, to you for you to intervene in abortions so even the even society accepts abortion so that's been lost. So it should go into God's hands if you're a religious person. So I don't really want to get too big into abortion, but what I, for my thing is if the opposition... So if you have a family and you have children, then you talk to your family and your children and you homeschool them and you don't put them in school and you keep them away from the government mafia that's propagandizing them and all this, and you live in a Christian society, or you live in your Muslim society, or you live in your Jewish society, and keep doing that. When people keep complaining about government schools teaching their kids certain things, it's like, okay, why is your kid in government school? Well, it's not that simple. Well, it is that simple. If they're convincing your kid to cut their dick off, or sew their twat up, and cut their tits off, then get your kid out of the school. But, if the, your opposition wants to be homosexual, not have kids, and cut off their reproductive organs, how do you know that's not part of God's plan for keeping them from creating more of them? Similar to the, the fat positivity movement. Now, barring the fact that they're stealing money from you via force for health insurance to pay for these people, 
if somebody overeats and they die, well, they're kind of solving their own problem, right? So just keep eating and being healthy and teaching your children and family members to be healthy and thin and not have excess fat, and don't have heart disease and high cholesterol and clogged arteries. And then if your opposition wants to be fat, eat whatever you want, eat sugary snacks, be a pig on the public dole, figure out ways to keep, to stop, to go places where you're safe from as much taxation and theft as possible. Protect yourself and don't fall into that trap. But if, if my opposition's not reproducing, if my opposition's getting overweight and dying early, if they're committing sodomy and not having children, if they're killing their offspring, it seems to me as the solution is kind of baked into the cake because the, 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 the people that you want taking themselves out are taking themselves out. It kind of seems like the Lord works in mysterious ways. <laughs> I mean, I just don't understand. I, I, I just don't understand. Why put all this energy into trying to convince your enemies to stop taking themselves out? That they, it seems like they're doing you do a favor. When you can take all that energy and put it into something positive, like building your community, building your family, building homeschool, like homeschool curriculum, peaceful parenting curriculum, learning decentralized currencies, learning decentralized autonomous organizations, learning about NFTs, a decentralized ownership of digital property that's attached to real property. Uh, there's so many things that you could be studying and learning in a positive way when you focus your energy on stopping your enemy from making errors and mistakes it seems like a waste it seems like you're being filled by negative satanic energy it also feels like you don't trust God's plan so I think I, I mean I haven't read the Bible so I haven't read the Quran and I haven't read the Torah I download them all, they're on my phone in audiobooks, and every time I listen to them, I just, I just can't do it. Because it's all begging the question. So it's like, everything that I hear is just like, take it as it's word, but it's like, there's no proof that it's the word. So like, well, I have faith. And it's like, well, I have faith, but I have faith based on like, um, reason and evidence. So like, you, you do a, a you do a, a test here on physics in New Hampshire. Then I go down to Massachusetts. I say, do the same test, a physics test. It works. I go to Vermont. It works. I go to California. It works. I, I go to Cuba. It works. I go to Germany. It works. I go to Greece. It works. I go to Asia. It works. So it's like, okay, I have faith that this works on the entire planet. We go to the moon. It works. Okay, I... It works on the moon and the earth. I can extrapolate that I had faith that that's going to work throughout the whole universe. But just giving me a book of information is like... I'm not, and then saying just have faith. I, I don't have faith. I, now I give myself faith and I act in a way as if there is a connection. But it's a little bit, it's a little bit different. I don't want to get into that video. But the video that I'm making here is just, I don't understand why everybody is so concerned with what other people are doing. So I, I, I talk to uh, liberals, people on the left. They have no idea who Dan, Dylan Mulaney is. But every time Dylan Mulaney posts a new fancy TikTok, every conservative and libertarian in my timeline goes bonkers placing it to hate hate on it and it's like just ignore it I find it funny I honestly when I see Dylan Mulaney I don't like the type of comedy 
But I didn't really care for, for Andy Kaufman's type of comedy either. But I really like Norm MacDonald and I really like Bobby Lee. And I don't see Andy Kaufman, I see, I don't see any difference between Andy Kaufman, Bobby Lee, Norm MacDonald, and um, Dylan Mulvaney. I don't know where the character starts and ends, where the bit starts and ends, if it's real, if it's fake, where the personality goes, and that's kind of fun. But, I mean, I wish no harm on any of those individuals. And they're kind of making their own point. So, like, I, I don't understand. Like, there's plenty of Christian people in need of help that believe your Christian ways. Plenty of Muslims that believe your Muslim ways. There's plenty of Jews that need your Jewish help. So, what's the point of going to Dylan Mulvaney and trying to stop him from from living that lifestyle? Like, you know what I mean? Like, why not? work in your own communities and try to help people that are that are trapped there that need the help that actually are listening and looking for help and and, and want to be part and then might actually uh be able to be saved so that's the part that's the part that i don't understand i think people just like to go look for stuff that pisses off now a lot of what I see on my timeline, at least, I think, is people just having fun. So they do it for the laughs and stuff. So pretty much everything that I comment on any of this stuff. So some of it, I, I mix it up. So I think I do about 80-20. Where, or maybe, maybe I do like 80... We're going to do like 75, 25. So 5% of trolling where I say stuff that it's just like, just to get a rise out of the, the person that responded to me that's kind of obviously trolling or maybe trolling, but I don't know. So I just say ridiculous stuff, whatever that's going to like counterbalance. Then about 20 of the time, percent of the time, I like to throw out libertarian and anti-government principled philosophy stuff on, you know, more serious posts and, and questions like that. And then the other 75% of the time, it's just like, have fun, life is short. Let's joke around, let's make fun, let's riff on this. And what I've noticed, so a lot of people do laugh and they do like it. And I think that they put a heart there. But I, I think they're too nervous to do the same thing because they're still trying to live in the public eye. And they're afraid that the internet's going to blow up or go viral. And it's like, no, most people aren't on the internet. There's, you know, billions of people. And even if you have like 130,000 followers and and they try to cancel you, most of the like when Louie got canceled, I remember saying to my friend who was a huge Louie fan that, that has a wife and kids and stuff like that, oh, what do you think of Louie getting canceled? He's like, what do you mean canceled? He's like, well, the allegations that he was masturbating consensually in front of some women comedians that felt like if they didn't allow him to their careers was like oh I had no idea what happened and I was like well they kind of took away some stuff oh really because I, I just saw that as a new thing out and I was like yeah so it's like the nor normal people living their everyday life don't hear much of this stuff so being like the Nick Mullen online guy it was pretty funny because there's so many people that are like the you know the online guys and the online gals, and it's fun to be online. It's a it's a it's a virtual world where there's memes and the memes build on memes and the meal the memes build on the memes on the memes on the memes, and there's layers to jokes and and stuff like that, which is hilarious. And people are trying to entertain one another, and you know life goes on. But most of the people out here are not on Twitter. They're not gonna. They're not gonna find this stuff. I mean, when the the, the Tower Gang guys, I'll bring up. You should go check out Tower Gang if you like offensive humor. Uh, in uh, in free speech, like true free speech, not not cookie cutter free speech, like you talk about, not constitutional free speech, like true free speech. Even to the point where you let's, let's scream fire in a crowded theater free speech. Uh, go check them out. If not, don't. But 
Uh, I forget where I was going with that. Oh, they, they say obnoxious stuff, and they all have normal jobs and stuff. They don't use their real name because maybe somebody get would take it and show it to somebody. But no one's canceling them. No one cares. You know? Dave Smith special. Go watch Dave Smith special on um, YouTube or on Gas Digital Network and see what he says. And then he's on Rogan. And the people that watch him on Rogan, even if they watch his special... They haven't canceled him, and he says outrageous words, so... I mean, I don't think they're outrageous, but you get it. He's moving the over the window over to the side, you know what I'm saying? All right, that's 15 minutes, that's enough. I just don't understand why we just don't focus on positivity, so... I hope everybody had a good holiday.